How's it going, folks? I'm Deswood Desvid, and this is the brand new Varia RCT715 from Garmin, which combines all the Varia radar light and goodness of the RTL515 with a brand new camera that's housed right inside. So if you've ridden with a Garmin Varia radar and light before, you probably already know how useful it is when it comes to being more aware of vehicles, where it can alert you of vehicles that are approaching from behind from up to 153 yards away. And then when you combine that with a super bright red LED that can be seen up to a mile away, that makes for just a really valuable tool when it comes to safety while riding on the road. It's kind of one of those things where once you ride with one, it kind of feels naked to ride without one. But now they've combined the radar and light functionality that's found on the Varia RTL515 with a new built-in camera, so you can actually record your entire ride if you'd like, as well as other incidents that may occur during your ride. Now what's interesting about this camera is how many different ways that you can record footage. So you can set it to just continuously record all the time when it's on. There's also a radar only recording mode where it will record footage only when it detects radar related activity. But what's really neat about the RCT715 is that it has a built-in accelerometer for its own onboard instant detection without the need for a paired device like a Garmin Edge bike computer. And then when it does detect an instant, it just automatically starts recording all on its own. It's definitely one of those features where you hope you never have to use it, but it's definitely nice that it's there. So the actual radar and light functionality of the RCT715 is basically identical to the RTL515. It can detect vehicles coming up from behind from up to 153 yards away. It gives you all those alerts on a compatible Garmin device like an Edge bike computer, a compatible Garmin wearable, or the Garmin Varia app, and it has all the same light functionality too. And I've got another video about all the nitty gritty details about the radar and light functionality of the RTL515, and I'll have that video linked down in the description below if you want more information on that. But the RCT715 is really all about about adding a new camera and they now include a new 1080p camera that can record up to 30 frames per second and it has a 140 degree field of view. And then when you compare the new RCT715 with the RTL515, it's larger and heavier of course to house the camera and other internals, but there's also a few other new things. So in terms of dimensions and weight, it's basically a little bit over twice as big as the RTL515 and a little over twice as heavy. And since it is substantially larger than the RTL 515, the RCT 17 uses a new dedicated mount, so this is different than the quarter turn mount on the RTL 515. So this mount that attaches to your seat post is much more robust, and the RCT literally locks into place using this lever, so it's definitely on there and it's really, really secure. And they include three different adapters based on the style of your seat post. So there's one for arrow posts, one for square posts, as well as one for round posts. And what's neat here too is that with each of the adapters, there's two different orientations for different seat post angles. And then the mount just goes on your bike just like so using these little elastic straps and they have two different sizes of these straps depending on your seat post thickness. Now getting back to the RCT715 itself and there's a few other things to point out. So under this flap right here is the charging port and yes it does charge via USB-C and they do include a cable. And then under this little cover right here that unscrews is where the micro SD card is located that stores all the footage. It comes with a 16 gigabyte card already installed, but you can officially use it up to about a 128 gigabyte card. And I actually tried a 256 gigabyte card and it still seemed to work just fine. And then on the side of the unit, there's also a power slash pairing button here, as well as another dedicated button to manually save a recording. But don't worry, there's going to be plenty of other ways to trigger a recording that we'll talk about here in just one bit. Oh, and really quick, if you're finding the information in this video to be useful, do me a favor and just hit that like button down below. It helps this video by letting other people know that it's useful and it also helps the channel and I appreciate it. Now, what's pretty cool about this footage that you may have already noticed is that there's the ability to add data overlays here, including the time and date along with GPS location data as well as speed. And this information is provided via a paired device, whether that be a Garmin Edge bike computer, Garmin wearable, or the Garmin Varia app. And then in terms of the quality of the footage, well, it's a 1080p camera. So for the most part, if you're on a smoother road during the daytime, the footage looks okay. Making out license plates is somewhat easy to make out when the vehicle is close to you, but they're a little bit harder to make out from a distance. And then on rougher roads, here's where the footage does get a little bit rougher, like literally. The camera doesn't have any stabilization, so if you're riding on gravel, it will be harder to make out license plates. And it's certainly not the quality of something that you can get out of like a GoPro or any other current action camera, but that's not necessarily what this camera was designed for. It's much more about the safety aspects and much less about capturing riding action footage, but you certainly can if you'd like. And then for audio quality while you're moving, it's gonna pick up quite a bit of wind noise, so I'd say the audio's there just in case you really, really need it. Now, although it's kind of a simple concept of just slapping a camera into a Garmin Varia radar and light, there's actually a lot of interesting little nuances with how the recording functionality works. Some of it quite clever in fact, but there's also some quirks we'll discuss. So let's first talk about recording mode. So the first mode is to just set it to continuously record all the time. And this is regardless of whether you have it paired with an external device like a Garmin Edge bike computer or the Garmin Varia radar app. So basically once you turn it on, it starts recording until you turn it off. 
And then there's another mode where you can set it to only record when it detects radar activity. And this can help save on battery life as well as storage space. So what happens here is that as soon as it detects something coming up from behind you, it'll start recording. It will record while the vehicle is detected. And then it'll also record for one minute after the vehicle is passed. Now, one thing to note using the radar only recording mode is that this is probably best used in more like a rural environment where there's not that much traffic. If you're in an urban environment where there's a lot of traffic, the camera may be turning on and off constantly and your battery savings may not be quite as good at that point. And then you also have a setting where you can just turn the recording completely off. Well, almost completely off. So there's also a feature with the RCT715 where it will record any incident that may occur, like let's say a crash. And this works in a couple different ways. So if you have it paired with a compatible Garmin device that does have instant detection, like let's say a Garmin Edge 830 or even a Garmin wearable, well, what happens is that when the paired device detects an instant, the RCT715 just automatically starts recording. That's pretty neat. But what's also neat is that the RCT715 has that built-in accelerometer for its own instant detection. So it can do that automatic instant detection related recording all on its own. So this is where if you don't own a device with instant detection, like let's say an older Garmin device, you can still benefit from this feature. Additionally, you can just toss this on for let's say something like a commute or something like that where you don't actually want to start an activity on a paired device and still record any instant related footage. And this also does work by the way with third party devices that have Varia radar functionality but doesn't have instant detection. The RCT will just use its own onboard instant detection to trigger those recordings. And what happens in all these scenarios is that when it detects an instant, whether that's from a paired device or on its own, it just starts recording and it keeps on recording basically until you turn it off or if the battery runs out. What's also interesting about this is that it does not matter which predetermined recording mode you have it set at. So for instance, if you have it in the radar only recording mode, what happens when an instant is detected is that it starts recording and then it automatically switches the recording mode to continuous. So it captures anything that could be of use later in an unfortunate instant. And this also works even if you have it set to not record. As long as you have this setting enabled in the Barrio app to record when an incident is detected, it should record all those incidents. Now, one super important thing to note about the incident detection on the RCT715 is that all that does is just trigger the recording on the Varia itself. It doesn't actually send that alert with your location to your emergency contact, like what happens on a Garmin device that has instant detection, like a Garmin Edge 830 or a Garmin wearable. Now there's even some more interesting details about how this all works. So like I mentioned before, if you have it set to the radar only recording mode or the record mode set to off, what will happen is that when it detects an instant, it'll just start recording and just keep on recording. However, if you have it set to the continuous recording mode, what happens when it detects an incident is that it'll actually combine the 30 seconds before the incident with the incident footage into one event. Now the onboard incident detection on the RCT715 all on its own without being paired to another device, it is rather sensitive though, and you will end up with some false positives and probably some footage that you probably won't need. However, the incident detection algorithms on let's say something like a Garmin Edge 830 or Garmin wearable, that's gonna be a lot more accurate. So using these in conjunction with each other is gonna be your best bet. Now, what What's super, super interesting here though is that let's say you have instant detection disabled for a particular activity profile on your paired Garmin device. Well, what happens here is that the RCT715 is still able to use the instant detection algorithms on your paired device to eliminate the false positives. That's kind of crazy. And the big difference here is that when you do have instant detection enabled on your paired Garmin device, it'll still attempt to send an alert with your location to your emergency contact. If you have instant detection disabled on your paired Garmin device, the RCT715 can still leverage the instant detection algorithm from the paired device. It just won't send out the alert though. So that's a pretty big important point. Now, since the incident detection algorithm on the RCT715 is rather sensitive, and since it also does automatically switch to a continuous recording mode when it does detect an incident, there is a high likelihood that it's gonna be in the continuous recording mode the next time you turn on the device, regardless of whatever recording mode you had it set to before. You can, of course, go ahead and turn off the instant recording feature, but for me, that's kind of like a highlight safety feature of this device. So for me, I'd rather just deal with those false positives. And then on top of all that, you also have these buttons on the bottom of the Garmin Varia Radar app, as well as the widget on compatible Edge bike computers. And what these buttons do is that they will save a clip as locked footage while the camera is already recording. So these aren't the traditional start and stop recording buttons that I think most of us would expect. So what these buttons do is that they'll save a clip of a chosen duration while the camera's already recording in the background as locked footage, so that way they're easier to find and there's no chance of them being overwritten. 
The big caveat with those buttons though is that those buttons are currently only enabled in two different modes, the continuous recording mode or the radar only recording mode if there's traffic detected. If you're in the radar only recording mode and there's no traffic detected, those buttons will be disabled. The same thing goes for the no recording mode, those buttons will also be disabled. And I definitely get the reason of being able to save those clips as locked footage, but I would also love the ability to actually start and stop recording at any time, regardless of whatever mode I was in. And I guess why these buttons on the Garmin Varia app as well as the widget on the Edge Bike computers are confusing to me is because this button on the side of the RCT715, it will turn the camera on and start recording if it's in the no recording mode. And this now gets us to how the RCT715 actually stores and manages these clips. So if you're in continuous recording mode, what happens is that when you run out of space on your memory card, what it'll do is just delete the oldest footage to make space for the new footage. But it's not like it just deletes your entire last ride or anything like that. It actually stores these clips in 30 second chunks. So it kind of just overwrites them in smaller pieces. But they have thought of something kind of clever here in regards to the instant related recordings as well as the manually recordings because you don't want those to be deleted. So those are what they call locked clips. So even if you have your RCT715 set to continuously record, the instant clips and the clips you manually save won't be overwritten. You have to manually go into the app or pop the SD card into your computer to manually delete those files. And this now brings us to the Garmin Varia app, which has some new features to manage this device, including adjusting settings as well as accessing and downloading footage. And you also can use this app for radar alerts if you'd like if you don't have a Varia compatible device. So the main screen of the app shows your radar status like we've seen before, where it shows upcoming vehicles from behind you. This is great to use if you have your phone mounted on your handlebars with something like a quad lock case or my little hack using a quarter turn sticky mount on an iPhone case. And more details on that in my Varia RTL 515 video which I'll have linked down in the description below. But then we've got some new buttons up top as well as down below. So there's an icon up here to access your video clips which they call a gallery and then there's some buttons down below to manually take a photo or save a video. So if we click on this gallery icon up top, what happens is that it'll create a direct Wi-Fi connection from your phone to the RCT715 itself. And the reason for this is that Wi-Fi is much faster than Bluetooth. So in theory, transferring video files should be much faster. So we can just click on one of these clips right here to start viewing it. And then there's also options here to download the footage to your phone and delete it off the card. You can just download it and not delete it, or you can just delete it altogether if it's not needed. And then you've probably already noticed here that there's also three different categories of footage, locked, unlocked, and downloaded. And like I mentioned before, the locked footage can be two different kinds of footage, footage that was recorded because of an instant or footage that was manually recorded. And then we have this unlocked footage here, and this is all the footage that has been recorded if you're in the continuous recording mode or the radar only recording mode. So basically anything that's not instant related or footage that you manually triggered. And then finally we have a downloaded section here, and this is all the footage that you've downloaded to your phone so you can access this footage without being connected to the RCT 7 15. Garmin says that downloading footage to your phone should be a pretty quick process, around 10 seconds or so for about a 30 second clip. Unfortunately, I'm not necessarily getting these kinds of speeds where it can take a while to download a clip, sometimes up to 10 minutes. However, what's interesting here is that they did suggest to turn Bluetooth off while downloading clip and this dramatically increased the download speed. I am one of those weird people, however, that does have like a gajillion Bluetooth devices paired to my phone, so that very well could be the issue. Garmin is definitely looking into it, but they say that the expected behavior is supposed to be about 10 seconds for a 30 second clip. And then in the device settings, here's where you can adjust camera and storage settings and also check for firmware updates. In the camera settings, the first option up top is where you can view in real time how your camera is positioned on your bike, and it does this by creating a direct Wi-Fi connection with the RCT715. Next up, we have recording modes, and this is where you can switch between the continuous recording mode, the during radar activity mode, and then off altogether. Next, we have video quality and audio. So here's where you can switch between 1080p to 720p and using the lower resolution will increase battery life as well as storage space. And then you can also toggle whether or not you want to record audio. And then next up, we have video clip length. So this is the setting for the length of the clip that will be recorded when you manually trigger a video recording. And you can set this anywhere from a minute and a half to five minutes. And then we also have a setting here where you can toggle on or off the data overlays, including GPS data, speed, as well as date and time. And then we also have some storage settings such as formatting and racing a card as well as accessing the gallery. And then lastly, let's talk about battery life. So if you're in the continuous recording mode, recording 1080p footage, you should be able to get up to four hours of use using the solid or night flash mode, up to five hours of use using the Peloton light mode, and then up to six hours of use using the day flash mode. And then if you don't want to do any recording at all and just want to benefit from the radar and light functionality, you should be able to get up to six hours of use using the solid or night flash mode, up to eight hours of use using the Peloton light mode, and then up to 10 hours using the day flash mode. And then battery life using the radar only recording mode 
well, that's going to be dependent on how much traffic that you're going to be encountering because the camera is going to be turning on and off. But in theory, that should yield better battery life than the continuous recording mode. Oh, and then when it comes to price, the RCT 715 runs $399.99 and should be available right now. And for comparison, the RTL 515 that runs $199.99 and then the RVR 315 that has the radar functionality but doesn't have the light functionality that runs $149.99 and all of these should be still available. All right, so to wrap things up, I love the concept of the RCT 715. It's really kind of the next natural progression in the Varia lineup. I love that they put a lot of thought into the different recording modes, how it stores and saves footage, the onboard incident detection, how it just automatically starts recording when an incident is detected, as well as how it works with paired devices, as well as even on its own. But I do think there's a little bit of a missed opportunity here for those of us who may want to use this as an action camera. I do get that this is intended for safety, but I think there's people out there, including myself, who want this to be more like a dual purpose device where it's just always recording in the background for safety just in case but if there are some features built in like let's say some stabilization or a higher resolution camera I could actually use this as an action camera. There is one thing that could help though and I think this could just be added via a software update and that's what I was referring to before where if those buttons on the Varia app as well as the Edge by Computer Widget if those were true start and stop recording buttons that would be sweet. Anyhow, that's everything new with the Varia RCT715 from Garmin. If you have any questions about anything that I didn't cover in this video, make sure to leave those in the comments section down below. And on your way down there, if you found the information in this video to be useful, do me a favor and just hit that like button. And also subscribe to the channel for lots more sports tech goodness that's right around the corner. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.